They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Baiters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. Chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet. Gonna educate your palate right here in Farmer's Kitchen. In town, Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen brought to you by... Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting it. L81 Bottling Company. Taste, love, and share the tradition. Rose Farm Supply. Family farming and commitment to our customers since 1982. Housewarmings, the outdoor living and fireplace experts. Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen and Nikki Farmer's Country Kitchen. And you know what? By the time this airs, hopefully, winter has cleared. We are sick of cold temperatures. Yeah. But we're still having some. We're still having some cold temperatures, so soup is not out of the question. The other night you asked me for something. You were coming home and you wanted something. You wanted some soup. You're a soup person. I love you soup. like pea soup. Potato soup. You like potato soup, Cream. lentil soup, bean soup, all that kind of stuff. You wanted something different. So I started thinking. We had a head of organic cauliflower that we got from Good Foods. And I thought, hmm, That's what can we soup. do with that? Now we've been starting to take our, our vegetables and we've been roasting them oh. in the oven, which just put some delicious. olive oil on them, put them on 400 degrees until they soften up. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. they get, this almost gets a nutty flavor to it. And I started thinking, hmm, what if I combine some of your favorite things into this soup? So we're gonna call this roasted cauliflower pepper jack soup. Did you create this just for me? I did. Oh, that's I'm so like sweet. It. Anyway, Mrs. Farmer, before we go any further, you know what? We had the contest. Mm -hmm. Now, so many people sent us so many requests for great restaurants, for research. We talked to people. We can't settle on just one. Right. So we tried a few of them out. We recently went to Hillbilly Tea. Delicious. In Louisville. Delicious. And wow, you were right. So Molly Witt, you're going to have dinner with us if you choose to do so and have a package of uh, fun stuff. Fun stuff from yeah. Young Country Kitchen, by golly. But let's get back to our recipe. And tonight, now let's harken back a couple months. Hmm, we're in Alaska. What we're we doing? Fishing. Mm. Take a look at this. Catch a can. Our next stop was a beautiful spot, and we found out there are plenty of charter boats going out of there. So we hooked up with a guide, and he took myself, David, Dustin, Roddy, John and Glenn. Now we had a great time, caught some salmon, and when we get back, we're gonna cook it up. The trip was great. On board, the most fascinating thing, I asked the guide, I said, hey, what's the chances of us taking some of that fresh salmon out? And before I got my mouth completely shut with a sentence, he said, I've got some wasabi and some soy on board. And hey, we took that fish I caught, cut him open, had him right there on board. It was some of the best fish I've ever had in my life, and we didn't even cook it. Oh my. You better get up here, all your brother, too. Whoa. That is delicious. Locking them out, man. You're gonna eat it all, aren't you? Fresh fish. Courtesy of Clay.
Now, the great thing about that particular trip was when we got done, we had the folks up there take our salmon, seal it, freeze it, and ship it back to us. Now, we gotta save some of this for all, all the right. folks. This spring, we're gonna have them over. We're gonna put these on the big green egg. We have one little piece left. <laughs> oh, don't tell them that. We've got okay. more, I No, promise. we do, we have a lot. But we're gonna put these on a cedar plank on the big green egg, yum. and yum, yum, yum. Tonight, it's still nasty outside, so we're gonna cook everything inside. We have a very tasty meal for you. Now, for those folks out there say, oh, I don't like cauliflower, you might change your mind on this one, and it's very good for you. So here's what we're gonna do. If you can break this up into manageable sized pieces, we're gonna drop them into this bag. I'll tell you what, just a little bit more and I think we'll be good. And then we're gonna put some sunflower oil on them. Just, oh, if I had to guess, probably a third of a cup. Put them on a cookie sheet, we're gonna spread it out. And we're gonna put just a tad of salt and pepper on there, just, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the oven at 400 degrees. Let's go ahead and set that in there. And I'm gonna do that for about 20 minutes. And again, I've got the oven started on 400 degrees. We're gonna get us some olive oil going. Bottom of this pan, Nikki, if you wanna go ahead and cut me up a medium-sized yellow sweet onion. And we're gonna cut those up into just little, pieces. little fingernail sized pieces of onions. We're gonna saute those. Once again, you can't hardly go wrong when your base starts like this. Do you like the size or smaller? Uh, maybe just go a little bit smaller. Now, while we're letting our onions finish, I want to remind you to like our Facebook page. And we have a lot of stuff coming up in the very near future. Make sure you keep track of us on our Facebook page and like us. Also go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. By the way, we just started this thing just a while back and we've already got a half a million hits. And every month we get more and more people watching from all over the United States. I want to thank you guys. Now, our onions are getting mighty close. Would you like me to shred this? You know what, here's how much cheese we're gonna need. You're gonna need about a cup and a half of cheese. We can put some milk in here. You can put, if you're watching your weight, if you're watching your diet, you could put even skim milk in here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put some cream. You need about a cup and a half of cheese. I think most of the time people use white cheddar cheese for this, and we've got some white cheddar cheese. You see how the bottom of the pan has a little bit of brown on it? Mm -hmm. Does that bother you? I love it. Does that make you upset? I want to eat it. It shouldn't, okay. because we're going to take this Christman Mill Premium White. How much? Just enough to kind of deglaze it. Smell that? Smell good. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Now, right behind that, I'm going to come in with some chicken broth. I've got about four cups here that I may or may not use, depending on how much I want this to uh, the consistency to be either thick or not so thick. All right, now let's talk about seasoning the soup. I want some rosemary and I want some thyme. And I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of each. Give such a wonderful, nice flavor. I would love to have some fresh right now, but... We'll grow it here shortly. Half a teaspoon, rosemary, half a teaspoon of thyme. I'm gonna come back with, just to add a little more brothy flavor, a couple chicken bouillon cubes. I discovered this a while back. I love this for soups. I love this for green vegetables. I absolutely love Morton makes something called Nature's Seasoning. It smells so wonderful and adds so much to soup. It has a bit of a, just a bit of a celery aftertaste to it with some combined flavors. I'm gonna use just a smidgen on that, just a dash. You want these? Yep, drop those in. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more chicken broth in here. I'm gonna bring it to a gentle, boil, put a little pepper in here. Lots of pepper's good. Lot, I like a lot of pepper. Most people would want to put a little bit of pepper in there. I'm going to put a lot. And smell and taste as you go along. It's your dish. You can make it like you want it. Now, let's talk about our salmon. Nikki, if you will, let's get these guys out. I've already pre-oiled this pan here, put a little bit of olive oil in it. Now, you've seen me make different glazes. We're going for simple and easy. You want to impress somebody and feed them good food all at the same time? I would recommend this dish tonight. Now, these are fairly small pieces, so it won't take as long. And we'll leave that on 400 degrees as well. If this is a really big piece of salmon, it may take as much as 15 or 20 minutes. I'm going to start looking at it. You do not want to overdo salmon. You still want it to be pink in the center. Gosh, I cannot wait to fish this year. We're going to be cooking a lot of fish this year. We're going to be taking some fun trips. But right now, let's take a quarter cup of brown sugar. This is a very simple glaze. Let's take a quarter cup of olive oil. 
Let's take two tablespoons of lemon juice and three tablespoons of soy. One more thing I'm gonna put in here, I forgot, is some fresh honey. Now we use this store-bought container, but it's Harold's yes. wonderful honey. I refill it for you. Absolutely, it's easy to squeeze out. Now we're gonna also take some fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and put on there. Good. Now our cauliflower has got a few more minutes. It's continuing to brown. We've got a nice boil going here. You know, we get stuck in the same old patterns on desserts. Rebecca is not here yet, but she's gonna come in and make a quick dessert on a big green egg. Oh, good. Something healthy? Something healthy Yum. for a change. Quick and easy, but delicious. Here's what it's gonna look like when we're done, hopefully. A nice, beautiful piece of Alaskan caught salmon. We know where that came mm -hmm. from. Yeah. No dyes, no artificial anything in. We've got a wonderful cauliflower soup on the side with asparagus and brown rice. Yum. Tell me it's not good. It's not good. That's good. That's good. I'm sure happy look. She's happy. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to getting things going here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glaze out. Over this. Did you bake that or broil that? We're gonna Same. leave it on 400 degrees. 400, okay. Now, they say, docs say, that we should eat fish three times a week. And we probably don't do that, but we should. Try it in different ways. You're gonna find a way that you like it. Now, we like it smoked. We like every way you can possibly have it. But this is a good, mild way to have your salmon. We've poached it before. Here's, take a look at this. Here's some poached salmon we've done before with a mayonnaise dill sauce. Oh my goodness, is that not delicious? We almost got burnt out on that. We ate that so much. But it is absolutely delicious and probably time to do that again here before too long. This is where it needs to be. The cauliflower is where it needs to be. Let's pop it out. Ooh, yeah, see, that's perfect. Now that, I can eat a bit of it just like that. Of course, that's hot, so let's uh, scoop it up. Hold it. And let's take it and put it in the bowl and let that simmer for about 15 more minutes. And let that soften up just a little bit more. We're gonna cover this. A lot of people ask us the same question. They say, is that your kitchen? We're having dinner tonight. This is not a set. This is our kitchen. This is our dinner tonight. I came home from work, you came home from work. But uh, this is our dinner tonight. This is actually what we're having. And a lot of times, most of the time when you see us cooking, we're cooking dinner. I'm gonna pop that on in while she's getting the asparagus and obviously skin down. All right, things are coming together nicely. I'm gonna take out some of these smaller pieces for texture. These are the pieces that I'm gonna put back in whole. How does this rank up there against the piece? Oh, we haven't made a pea soup yet. I gotta make you my pea soup, you'll like that. Pea soup and potato soup, it's right, at the, right with what it. What about the hot dollar soup? That oh, that's pretty good too. Our guys in Western Kentucky. Uncle Russ and Speedy. I think, I think Speedy was actually the one who showed me how to make that. It's in their cookbook, the good old boys cookbook, down in Western Kentucky. That's good Those soup. guys right there, let me tell you what, they are a lot of my inspiration, I'm telling you what. I'm at the point where the fun stuff happens. I'm gonna take the cheese. Yummy. And sprinkle that around. And that's not gonna take too long to melt at all. You want all of it, don't you? Yeah, go ahead and put all of it. Now again, that's white cheddar cheese and pepper jack. It's gonna give it that nice, wonderful flavor. I'm gonna put no about butter? a third of a cup of cream. No. All right. All right, now we're gonna take our immersion blender. Let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah. Looking good? More? That's probably gonna do. All right, now you could do that. You could also puree that. You could take the cauliflower out and puree that if you'd like to do so. Now, that's what we got. A nice creamy looking soup. Now, for texture, we're gonna come back, put our cauliflower back in there. Now let's check our salmon, see where it's at. We're all coming together here. Let's talk about, let's talk about this soup. Take a look at this right here. Tell me that didn't look yummy. Now try it. Mm -hmm. We can share this one? We can share this one. Now, the rosemary and the thyme mm. really make this. That's good. Oh my. Yeah, it did yourself. Now, even if you don't like cauliflower, roasting the cauliflower gives it such a nutty, interesting flavor. 
can taste the pepper jack cheese in here. That is absolutely wonderful. I promise you, please try it. Oh, a lot of people look at it as funny because typically we'll fix a we'll fix a rabbit, a duck, and we'll we'll put everything on one plate. Just eat. And we'll eat off of that plate. It's less dishes and we like each other. Oh that's sweet. You can tell that. Mmm. 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 Mm. <laughs> it's very good. No, that's a basic, basic salmon glaze. But to me, tonight, the star of the show is this. The soup. The soup's really good. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. You're right. That was good creation. It's a good side. It's a good dish to have year round. Especially when you got your fresh cauliflower coming on. Mmm. Let's think about that gardening time. Let's go gardening time. Mm hmm. Now while we're on a semi-healthy kick here, in a little while, when Becca gets here, she's gonna make us. She says it's gonna be a healthy alter alternative on the grill, on the yeah, big green egg. It's that time of year we need to. It's that time of yeah, year. Yeah, we need to cut back. Right, I'm gonna continue to eat the soup. With the little home and garden show. You recognize that guy behind us? I sure do. He he, he likes us, I think. He wants to hug. <laughs> Makes me hungry. What do you think about all this today? I think we need a new pool. I saw some pools and some hot tubs. What do you think? I kind of figured it was going to go in that direction. You know, those guys over there had all those green plants. Does that make you want to plant something? Yeah, I wish it was nice out. It's getting here. It's getting here. It's getting close. We can plant some stuff very shortly. Right. I'm, I'm excited. Ready. Let me I'm see you're excited. Like. <gasps> This is Jeff Wallach. What, what, tell me about your business, where it's at, so on and so forth. Um, we are a retail garden center. Gotcha. Um, I'm the third generation. My grandparents started back in 1946. Uh, we still sit on the same plot of land that wow. they bought uh, forever ago. Original greenhouses still stand. Wow. Um, so and it's improved throughout the years, obviously. But, I mean, we have a great booth here with it's colorful and it's springtime. You know, it's just something great, you know, to get that. Folks need to come on out and visit. Where's it at? It's at 2608 Hikes Lane in Hikes Louisville, Lane. Kentucky. Uh -huh. Good talking to you, man. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Thanks. Home, garden, and remodeling yes. show. This is Tara, and you're the queen of the show. Uh, well, and you make eight million dollars a day <laughs> while you're here. I, uh, yes. And this well, is overtime. I will take you up on that. <laughs> yes, that is my new contract. <laughs> I was talking to your buddy over here. It's 64 years. Yeah. That's astounding. Yeah, 64 years and majority of them have been in this space right here at wow. the Kentucky Expo Center. And uh, we have grown over the years. We uh, always have wonderful outdoor living areas, beautiful gardens, always the first sign of spring. We have got great seminars. We try and do as much local uh, cooking, and we've got great chefs from, from Louisville area kind of teaching people on our seminar stages. So. It's a little bit of everything. It is. I mean, we've got swimming pools over here, lawn tractors over yeah. here. And beds. And beds. <laughs> what mean, more do you want? And there's a, a kind of a phone booth type yeah, thing right there. Yeah, yeah, doors and, and beautiful things back here in the architectural salvage booth. Thank you yes. so much for talking with us. Thank and you. folks, next year, it's usually around the 1st of March. It is, time. yeah, usually around the 1st of March. LouisvilleHomeShow.com is the place to find all the information about this show. And um, it's produced locally by the Building Industry Association of Greater Louisville. And uh, we're just really proud to, to have this great herald of a home show. Yeah, come Thank on you very out. much. Absolutely, thank you. Now, through the magic of television, our mess is cleaned up, and my daughter suddenly arrived, late as usual. I'm just kidding. She's <laughs> just on time. Now, Becca makes sweets. Now, generally, when you come over, there's some kind of confection. Just like recently, we had my birthday cake mm -hmm. on the show, which was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> but tonight, you have done something that's kind of blowing my mind here. You know, I was waiting for sugar and spice and everything nice. It's kind of healthy. Uh, kind of healthy? I'm good with that. T tell me what you got here. 
Well, it's almost spring, so a lot of fruits are gonna be in season, so we're gonna grill some fruit. We have mm. some plums, some watermelon, and some boss pears. Now, you have put a little lemon juice in that to keep that from turning brown, because mm -hmm. we've been sitting here chatting. Mm -hmm. But you did like the soup, right? So good. Isn't that good? It's very Could you good. taste the rosemary and the thyme in there? Didn't it? Didn't yeah, it just kind of? Everything complemented each other really mm. nicely. The onions. What's the uh, balsamic vinegar for? Or that like is going to be on top of the fruit, and there's also some honeyed goat cheese, and everything just goes together really well. Ooh, now the cool thing about uh, putting this kind of stuff on the big green egg is the fact that those sugars come out and it caramelizes on there. Mm -hmm. then, so you don't ooh. even need any added sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. you won't believe how this tastes mm -hmm. if you've never tried this. And you can do this with peaches, you can do it with... You can do it with anything can, You can do it with any kind of fruit. Bananas, the whole deal. Run, run the gamut. Pineapple, it's all good. But watermelon is extremely good like this. The pears, that's one of my favorites. I haven't tried pears. I love pears. There we go. So we're going to take this operation outside. Now, by the time this airs, this is a new show. But by the time it airs, it will be hopefully nicer weather out. And we're going to the back porch. You're still going to see some remnants of snow. <laughs> you remember March came in? Yeah, remember that? All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and get things set up. Let's travel to the outback. I said, yeah, that's how March came in. <laughs> if it goes out like that, I'm moving. <laughs> You know, this has been the winter from heck. Mm -hmm. and this is my youngest daughter. We just talked in there. And she's, I, maybe it's a clue. She's trying to get some of this. Is that what it is? Some of this winter belly eye for me. Oh, by the way, very shortly, you're going to see uh, us taking off to Mississippi and Louisiana and coming back with some recipes from the South and find some good Southern cooks down there and share some uh, recipes when we get back. That being said, let's go ahead and Pay attention to what we got going on here. Okay, Beck, what are we gonna do? We are going to take our light olive oil or canola oil, whatever you want to use, no big deal, and just brush the fruit. Yum. Nothing too complicated. Yes, that is smoke coming out of our mouths, and no, we are not smoking cigars. <laughs> and yes, the white stuff you see on the back porch is snow. Snow. At least the goat cheese and fruit is staying cold. Whew. Man, oh man. Obviously, you could do this in the summertime too. Yeah, spring. I would recommend doing it warmer in warmer temperatures. But we use our big green egg out here constantly. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's getting hot. That is nice and hot. Oh, yeah. Hey, since they're staying inside, mm -hmm. oh, what happens if uh, we just happen to eat it before they get any of it? Well, that's there. It sounds like a personal yeah. problem for them. We'll show them. Uh -huh. You know, that even looks nice and healthy and tasty and it's just it's easy and it's such a nice it's a good alternative for you know the really heavy cobblers and all the warm stuff you have in the winter now where does the balsamic vinegar come in it's going to garnish on top of the goat cheese if we put it on now it would just burn and get sticky and gross ah, so, so it's after the fact gotcha mm -hmm. so how long just a couple minutes he said this yep. is a good hot grill it's mm -hmm. a really hot grill mm -mm 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 -mm. look at that grill marks and everything Pull well them. Let's do them. Let's do it. <laughs> Not very often do you see your watermelon with smoke Some coming off of them. Char on it. All right. We got some dark chocolate balsamic vinegar. Oh, yes. From Stuarto. Oh, a little dark chocolate balsamic mm -hmm. vinegar. Because it is springtime, you know. It's definitely Feels like spring for sure. Spring in the south stinking pole. And <laughs> right, now I'm gonna set this right here. Let's see. Work. This looks pretty daggone good. <laughs> I'm digging in. Just be real quiet. They don't need to know that this is done. This is ours. This is ours. They didn't stay out here in the cold. Mmm. Have you had good watermelons? Have you had this? Try the plum. I'm telling you what, that right there <laughs> is tasty as it can be. Yeah. A tasty treat, I must say. You did good, as usual. Thank you. What's next on your list of confections now? I don't know. Maybe a tart of some sort? A tart, she says. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to eat all this. Just quietly. We'll quietly eat it. They won't have to know that. Like I say, we're taking some trips very shortly to bring you back some good stuff from people all cooking all over the United States here in Kentucky as well. And you know what? Check out our Facebook page, Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Find out where we're going, what we're doing, where we're going to be. 
show up some places where we're going to be. We'd like to see you. And remember, it's all about good times. Good friends. And good eats. We'll see you next week. Hopefully, and not see our breath next week for the Tim Barber's <laughs> Country Kitchen. Special thanks to Chrisman Mill Vineyards, Good Foods Market and Cafe, Kentucky Beer Cheese, Polecat Custom Smokers, and Weisenberger Mill. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen brought to you by Kentucky Sheep and Goat Development Office. Try something different tonight. Salt Rocks, the flavor of life.